So the guy you're about to meet just wants the city to live up to its word. Construction blocking off wheelchair access on the block he calls home was supposed to be wrapped up days ago, but it's not. And it's not the first time the city has sent out mixed messages on this project. Morning Insider Vince Gerasoli dug in to try and find out why. Can't get through here either. You might not remember Mike Irvin. There's no ramp. There's no asphalt. There's no nothing. But we can't forget him. What's really dangerous is up up here or at least the complications he faces near his home on printers row that's where a construction project completely fences off north south access on two ends of his block and this is as far as i can go without again running into another green fence and all i could do is turn around can't get through at all after our repeated calls to the chicago department of transportation or cdot the project was issued a citation the city told us its permit ends on September 6, when full accessibility will be restored. But here we are, days after that date, and it sure doesn't look like anything's changed, including Irvin's frustration. Whether anybody with a mobility disability can get around is of no consequence to them. Irvin says he gave the city the benefit of the doubt and didn't call us until almost a week past the deadline. It makes me feel betrayed. This is the second time Irvin and CBS2 have encountered contradicting information from the city. I could maybe squeeze by, but it's so narrow that I risk falling off the curb. Following our initial calls last month, we were told the contractor is making improvements to widen the pedestrian space and improve access. Instead, the developer completely blocked off the sidewalks. They still need to make it accessible. According to the U.S. Department of Justice through the Americans with Disabilities Act, making accommodations in these situations is the law. See, it's more torn up than it was when you and I were here. Following requests from CBS2, CDOT sent an inspector to the location yesterday morning, issuing two citations to the contractor for blocked sidewalks indicating more will be issued until the situation is remedied. But looking at the site, Irvin says the city should know that may not be anytime soon. They should at least be honest about if it is going to be messed up like that and if they are going to continue to ignore the law, how long it's going to be that way. We'd agree. On Printer's Row, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Now, CDOT did not respond to our questions on how expired permits are typically policed or how long the area will remain under construction. Vince will, of course, continue to follow up. You know, I was actually at an ice cream shop the other day and saw there's just so much construction, but to see how it's impacting him, it makes me think they've got to answer these questions. Absolutely. I mean, we kind of take it for granted, and then you see him running into basically the proverbial brick wall yeah. there. And they've had more than enough time. All right. Yeah.